snakes, spiders, crocodiles. Australia is home to some of the deadliest animals on earth, equipped with some of the most powerful jaws and potent venoms in existence. One group, however, stands out above the rest, and that's Australia's snakes. Australia is home to a plethora of dangerously venomous snake species, including the most venomous snake on earth, the inland taipan. But that's not quite who I'm looking for today. No, today I'm on the hunt for the lesser known second most venomous snake in Australia, the eastern brown snake. These large and defensive snakes are easily the most dangerous snake in all of Australia and regularly find themselves in close proximity to people. Now, just how deadly is the bite of one of these snakes? Well, I'll have to find one to find out. And how will I find one? By putting myself into close proximity with one myself. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and most dangerous creatures alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most dangerous and misunderstood species. Today, I'm setting out on one of my most dangerous missions yet, to find and film Australia's deadliest snake, the Eastern Brown Snake. Let's dive right in. So folks, as you can kind of see, it's a nice overcast morning. Now it's starting to get a little warm. And what I'm hoping to do is catch a brown snake right as it's coming out to bask. Now I wanna do that folks, because even your expert snake handler, Jack here, is a little nervous about encountering his first Eastern brown snake properly. I found a baby one before, but I really have no frame of reference for working with this elapid. I've worked with cobras, I've worked with mambas, not a problem. I'm sure I'll be fine. But these animals, whoo wee they can have a bit of an attitude on them. They can have a bit of an extremely active, defensive nature. So I'm hoping to find one when it's still a little cool out so he's not quite jazzed and energized up from the heat of the day. But uh, we'll see if I'm so lucky. The Eastern Brown Snake is among one of the fastest and more agile snakes in all of Australia. Their speed and size makes them a formidable animal to work with, even for a seasoned snake handler such as myself. When threatened, these snakes will lift the front third of their bodies up in a threat pose. They'll create an S-like strike position and will often hiss or even strike to try and scare off would-be attackers. Now this is a pretty stinking good strategy, as you'd have to be pretty darn crazy to go up against an angry eastern brown. Unlike many of its relatives, the eastern brown's venom has highly hemotoxic properties rather than neurotoxic. This means bites attack blood and cells, as well as organs such as your kidneys. This means bites can quickly become complicated and lead to critical organ failure. It will take all of my wits and snake handling skills to keep me safe today should I come across one of these intimidating snakes. Let's get back to searching. Now these snakes, folks, they are dangerous. Easily the deadliest snake in all of Australia. They got an incredibly potent venom and I do not want to cop a bite, so I got to be careful, not just in trying not to walk past one, but when I see one, getting on it and being able to film it. Uh, which is a whole other story, but uh, this is good habitat, good weather. Whew. Hopefully, I'm on the right track. Now, I'm not joking around when I say this is the deadliest snake in Australia. The eastern brown snake is responsible for the lion's share of fatal snake bites in the country. Their venom is packed with coagulation factors that work quickly to clot and destroy the blood. Other symptoms like respiratory paralysis, permanent neurological damage, multi-system organ failure, and even cardiac arrest can also set in. This means a bite from one of these snakes could kill in mere minutes with severe envenomations. Even mild bites can become life-threatening if not treated immediately. Now, tensions are a little high. 
Our morning expedition for brown snakes has been fairly uneventful so far. But just when I began to lose all hope, I spotted some massive coils on the edge of the trail. Let's take a closer look. No way. Okay, just coiled up. It's a little bit of a cooler day. Jeez, that's a massive Eastern Brown. Okay, I gotta be careful. This is the most dangerous part of this video is figuring out how this Eastern Brown is going to react. This could go one of two ways. It's still not quite. It is cold. It's still not quite warm. Um, so let's see here. Hey buddy, how are you? Watch good morning. All right, here. Seems like he's not too upset. Check this out, folks. What an incredible eastern brown snake. This thing is a monster, easily clearing a meter. You can see some of that defensive posturing. This is a big, beautiful snake here. Wow, what a chunk. Look at that thing. Absolutely incredible. Let's see here. Folks. Folks, look at that. Absolutely incredible. What a fantastic snake. Now this right here, without a doubt, my friends, is the deadliest snake in all of Australia. This animal, while it's not more venomous than the inland taipan, is much closer in proximity towards people. And because of this, it bites with much greater frequency. So check this out. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous brown snake. And so far, not really much defensive behavior at all. It's still an early morning, it's still very cool, but check out that beautiful elapid. Now to receive a bite from a snake like this would certainly mean death. But as you can see, as long as I'm not startling him in any way, and it's still kind of a cool morning, he still doesn't feel the need to defend himself against me. <laughs> I say that and here he goes, look at that. Beautiful open mouth charge. He's telling me, back off buddy. I was having a nice morning to myself and you're ruining it, you're ruining it. But check that out, folks. This is a gigantic snake. This is like an elapid you might encounter somewhere in a far off land like Africa or Asia. But no, friends, we're right here in New South Wales. There's neighborhoods less than a kilometer away from here. And there's this absolutely deadly snake just traversing the trail. But let's dive in and let's learn more about these fantastic brown snakes and everything that makes these animals some of the most dangerous animals on earth. Although eastern brown snakes have incredibly potent venom, possibly even the second most toxic on earth, this is not the sole thing that makes them so deadly. Take the inland taipan, for example, a species with venom so potent it could kill 100 adult men with the venom in one bite. But just how many people has the inland taipan's bite actually killed? Do you know? The answer is actually zero. Sounds surprising, right? Well, the reason the inland taipan, despite being far more venomous than the eastern brown, isn't considered the deadliest snake in Australia, boils down to one specific reason. Inland taipans live in the middle of nowhere. Like, literally. While eastern brown snakes regularly find themselves in backyards, garages, and yes, sometimes even inside people's homes, inland taipans could possibly go their whole lives without ever even seeing a human being. This is what elevates the eastern brown to the title of deadliest. While they don't seek people out to bite them, they are much more frequently encountered, which leads them to biting more people in defense. Although around 500 or so snake bites occur annually in Australia, thanks to regular development of antivenom, only around 2% of these bites result in fatalities. Oftentimes, these bites occur because someone didn't realize the snake was there, or perhaps they were trying to kill, harass, or otherwise harm the snake. So it's important to be watchful when you're around snakes, in an area where snakes are present, and watch where you step. Because these snakes, if they get stepped on, of course they're going to feel like they're under attack, and they might just have to go out of their way to give you a defensive bite. Now, these snakes are masterful hunters. Being a lapids, 
They do not have those heat sensing pits on either side of the face like many pythons and many other species of venomous snakes such as vipers have. And so they're relying on their keen, sharp eyesight in order to find, chase down and kill their prey. These lovely snakes here will eat just about anything they can get those piercing fangs onto. They will eat lizards, they will eat other snakes, they will eat any small mammals they can find. And that's what makes these such successful animals out here. That's why there's so many of these brown snakes in and around areas where even people live. They like the same kind of habitats as us folks. And so these nice, comfortable, sort of temperate forests here make a perfect home full of lovely food for these beautiful eastern brown snakes to eat. But they are equipped with a powerful, potent venom that can easily shut my body down if they need to. Of course, that venom, first and foremost, is a tool to gain its food. It's a tool for survival, not a weapon to kill me. Although these snakes generally sport a fairly bland coat of brown, their coloration can vary quite a bit. As juveniles, many brown snakes often sport brilliant striping and patterns. While some snakes can retain some of these patterns as they grow to maturity, most brown snakes lose the majority of these juvenile colors. Because of their striped appearance as juveniles, people often mistake young brown snakes for tiger snakes. While it's understandable to a degree on account of the stripes, it's clear when you look at both of these snakes side by side that they look nothing alike. Of course, if you encounter an unfamiliar snake and you're unsure if it's dangerous, give it space. Simply taking a few steps back to allow the animal to move on its way takes you and the snake out of harm's way. These are just animals trying to survive, the same as us. There's no reason to fear them. Just give them room to move along, and you should be in no harm at all. So as you can see, these animals are hyper aware. Not only does this animal just want to flee at the first sign of danger, but it's letting me know as well that it will stand its ground and fight. It will even try and charge in order to discourage me from getting any closer and potentially harming it and eating it. So you can see, he's not taking his eyes off of me once, just as I am completely focused on him. You can see that this is a big, old animal. He could be 10, 15 years old to reach a size like this. And he's been able to survive in this rugged and oftentimes arid environment. And sometimes it's a pretty hard life out here. So this guy, who knows, he's got some light scarring on his sides. Maybe a fox or a cat or something had a go at him. But my friends, you can see right there, that beautiful boom, that beautiful threat posture. He's letting me know, back the heck off, buddy. This is truly one of the most impressive snakes I've seen in all of my years of filming Jack's World of Wildlife. A fantastic, beautiful, gigantic eastern brown snake and truly one of the most spectacular reptiles you can find in all of Australia. So just how deadly is the bite of the eastern brown snake? To be frank, pretty darn deadly. The toxic venom combined with a fairly defensive nature can make for a lethally dangerous snake. Now, although these snakes will flee when they feel that they're in danger, sometimes these animals will bite in defense if they feel they have no other option. When they do bite, you can lose consciousness in minutes and can be in critical condition in as little as an hour or two. Australia's snakes are no joke, and the eastern brown is certainly the biggest kahuna in the country. On a scale of 1 to 10, the eastern brown sits handsomely at an impressive 10. Their deadly venom, with regular close proximity to people, makes them among one of the deadliest snakes on earth and a real species to watch out for when enjoying time in the bush of Australia. Of course, like all snakes, don't panic if you encounter one. Let them on their way and do not harass or otherwise interact with them, and you should be completely safe. Well, we've had a fantastic time with this lovely and honestly really well-behaved brown snake out here in the wilds of Australia. So I'm gonna let him down. I'm gonna say you're all good to go, buddy. But what a fantastic reptile, folks. Truly one of the deadliest snakes in the world, easily one of the world's most venomous snakes, easily one of the most venomous snakes in Australia. Just about every tick box is ticked on this snake. They are such amazing, fantastic, aware alapids, and truly an animal that commands respect 
and appreciation. Snakes don't have to be your favorite. You don't have to love them, you don't have to like them, but we do need to understand and respect their place in the world, their place in their respective ecosystems. These are powerful and important animals in each and every ecosystem they call home. And just because an animal is potentially dangerous to us doesn't mean it's going out of its way to harm us. Even though this animal possesses, yes, a potentially lethal bite, as you can see, it did not even try once to kill me with that bite. But have a go with that beautiful snake, absolutely spectacular. We, uh, we had a fun time with this beautiful animal and we're gonna let it get slithered right off this trail. But what a fantastic reptile in the wilderness of Australia. Thanks for watching my friends and be sure to tune in next time.